What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the page, welcome to the channel. This is James from the channel Turby Tough, and today we wanna to talk about cheap versus niche. The difference, what you get, the feelings you feel, and what is it and where does it bring you in life? The difference between cheap and expensive colognes. Stay tuned, you don't wanna miss this. I was born to be free. All right guys, just like the title says, we are going to compare cheap versus expensive colognes. What does it do for you? What is the difference? And how does it make you feel? If you like that type of content, guys, I would love for you guys to like, share, subscribe. Share the page, share the channel. Helps me, helps push the algorithm so that we can continue to grow, continue to network with one another so we can get ahead to smell good, look good, feel good. Okay, so let's get to it. We have Abercrombie and Fitch, First Instinct, and we have Parfums de Marley, Percival. This one is clean, straight to the point. It's a safe scent. This is similar to Mont Blanc. Then we have Percival, which is like Mont Blanc and Abercrombie and Fitch on steroids. When you play it safe, you continue to go to your nine to five weekends off, of course, and you just, you know, you just want to smell good. And there's nothing wrong with that. Get some compliments now and then. If mediocrity is fine for you, then that's fine. Then you go with something like this. So we go to this point, but the difference here is that you're different from the crowd. You stand out, you go your own path. You don't wait for people to gravitate towards you and you ask for compliments. Actually, people are coming to you and they're giving you compliments. You don't have to move. You stand still, you stand bold. When you have that type of aura, that type of vibe, that type of attitude, that energy in you, people wanna be around you. So they will look long and far to find someone like you in their life. This is the one that basically gets those compliments. When people smell you in the air, they know exactly what time it is and they know what type of energy you bring to the table. That you dot your I's, cross your T's and you're all about business. That's what you get when you put expensive fragrances on. This is not only cologne when you go expensive, but this is a statement. So this is why we go towards expensive fragrances because we don't wanna only smell great, but we wanna tell people a story about ourselves without having to say it. Now let's go with something warm. We have Armani. Stronger with you intensely. Incredible, manly, sexy fragrance. Then we have Hypnotizing Fire by The Harmonist. Let's talk about them, let's compare them, okay? Just like the name, Intensely, you're having an intense, beautiful time with your lady. You feel good, you feel nice, you're warm, you're cozy, watching the marshmallows melt by our fireplace. You're just watching, enjoying life. Now we have somebody that comes in, like the Harmonist, Hypnotizing Fire, which basically adds gasoline to the fire, enhances everything, enhances the love. These are the type of fragrances to unlock the desires, the inner thoughts that the woman feels inside. The ones that look for the alpha male, looking for that man that's gonna keep her safe and take her places in life not somebody that's just going to go on vacation with her maybe once a year and be regular there's nothing regular when you go towards the niche expensive route because you not only go to paris and dubai you're going around the world you're international here here you're domestic you go to miami every few months there's no issue with that you're gonna smell amazing you're gonna smell great, you're gonna smell good. You're gonna go to maybe Texas this month, maybe in a few months go to California, try out New York, see the ball drop, you know, see a Statue of Liberty, play it safe, no issue. But if you wanna basically go on your own trail, get on the dune buggies and the jet skis, cut through the water, this is what you wanna put on. You wanna go niche, cause you wanna be that bad boy, have that competitive edge, go zip lining, jump off a plane and do skydiving. That's why we go to a niche level. We want something warm, we want something sexy. You separate yourself from the crowd, definitely, but not only that, but you have your own communication with somebody. 90% of communication is non-verbal. It's physical. So you already know what that means. You gotta dress the part. You gotta smell the part. You need to wow her with the way you look and the way you smell. And when you go niche level, you definitely get that. And that's the difference between expensive and cheap. Cheap and expensive. Cheap, $25, $30, you have Halloween Man X. It's nice, it's safe. Then we have something like this by Experimental Perfume Club called Tonka Extraordinaire. Now, this is the difference between nice, warm, synthetic coffee note, predominantly, that makes you, you know, smell yummy, smell good. And this is the difference. When you go expensive, this is the type of fragrances that people wanna eat you. They wanna bite you. The animalic vibe 
that you want to get, you get that with expensive. When you go with expensive niche fragrances, you have not only great ingredients, but the best ingredients. They go to different countries to extract certain notes. You get Madagascar vanilla in certain notes when you go the niche level. Play it safe. You know, the kids are coming out. Kids are going to get candy for Halloween. It's cool. You give it out. Go about your day, shut the door at 8 p.m., and you go back on to watching Law & Order. No issue. This is the guy that he doesn't care. He takes his own path, and when I talk about that, he basically, at the last minute, on October 30th, he books that Halloween cruise party. Goes by himself, and he finds who he's looking to date, who he wants to date. He doesn't go there and ask for somebody to come with him. He is the party. He brings it to life. You go to the Halloween party like this, this is the costume that you're going to have. Why? Because people are going to look at you in awe and wow with jaw dropping reactions because they cannot believe you came into that party looking and smelling that way you are not going to be regular at all beyond any means that's the difference guys that's my review there's a huge gap between cheap and expensive designer and niche all right guys now what i would love for you guys to do in the comments down below tell me the difference that you also notice between cheap and expensive fragrances designer versus niche what does it do to you how does it make you feel where does it bring you in life that separates you which makes you feel different all right guys till next review i'll see you guys in the next one this is james from the channel tell really tough